Hey everybody and welcome to Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. I am Eric. On the bar for today, a barrel strength bourbon, Old Ezra, seven years old. As always here on the channel, I'm going to give you a nose taste finish review of this bourbon. I'll tell you a bit about the value, give you my final thoughts, final score, leave you with a malt musing. But first, a bit about Old Ezra and this seven-year-old barrel strength. So, Old Ezra Distilling this actually comes out of a company called Lux Road Distilleries. They are the ones who bottle this. They come out of Bardstown, Kentucky. The actual distillate itself, unknown, but it is rumored to say, according to Breaking Bourbon, that uh, the juice in here is actually from Heaven Hill. This bottle in particular, 58.5% AVV or 117 proof. It is, as I mentioned, seven years old. It says charcoal mellowed Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. And not a whole bunch more information here on the back. So that is about all you are going to get on the label here. Here's one more look at the bottle. And with that, let's get some in the glass, dive in. All right. So give this a little swirl. Since it's a bourbon, we know that it is natural color, and that is what that natural color is looking like. Okay. First of all, let's get into the nose. It is a strong bourbon for sure. There's a slight alcohol bite. Sweet spice coming in right behind it. Ooh. As I go a little bit deeper into it, there's some cinnamon and clove. There's a little bit of a red fruit or fruit note coming through in the back. Apple. Mm. Brown sugar. Big time on the brown sugar, like dark brown sugar. Mm. Okay, all in all, a fairly straightforward, really intense nose which are the hallmarks of a barrel strength bourbon. There is a bit of oak char in there too. It's almost a bit like smoky. Maybe that's coming from that charcoal, I'm not sure. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Mm. Rich and assertive on the arrival. Sweet spice. Sweet, you're getting caramel, you're getting brown sugar, you're getting a little bit of a toffee note. Spice is really aggressive. Maybe a tinge of an alcohol burn, hot cinnamon, like cinnamon red hot candy. There's a bit of a fruit note. Mm. And that oak hanging on. And then it goes into a nice medium finish. Creamy on the finish, vanilla little bit drying. Mm. That apple note again too. Caramel apple, caramel apple, whatever. Okay. First taste, all in all, pretty straightforward, aggressive barrel proof bourbon with a lot of dense flavor. Let's put some water on this at 58.5% teaspoon for sure. Let's tone this down a notch or two, see what else happens. As we go back in, oh, delicious nose. Apple cinnamon again, caramel. There's barrel spice, just oak char, burnt wood. It's sweet. That apple note, man, really coming through. Maybe there's a hint of cherry. Very oily and viscous. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, this is a spicy bourbon. Another taste, cheers. Sweet, creamy, spice. Arrives nice and sweet again, and then that spice notes really kicks in. With the water, 
the creaminess is kind of rounding off a little bit of those spice edges. So what you're getting is a little bit more of a relaxed bourbon here. Despite the high ABV, I think water is recommended on this for a sipper. Citrus, apple, cherry. Mm. A little bit of a milk chocolate. It goes into a nice medium finish. Mm. One more. Uh, this is quite good. That high ABV is really coming through here. I mean, you get a lot of flavor, really dense. Intense and oily whiskey. Okay, so Old Ezra, seven years old. Barrel proof whiskeys in general, more alcohol means more flavor. In the case of this, you're really getting yourself a nice value. This is a $45 to $50 bottle, which with the age statement, the high ABV, you really do not find a lot of quality barrel proof whiskeys at a price like that, that I think are of this quality. It's a little bit on the young side, sure, but seven years old, but they put the age statement on it and that $45 to $50 range, this is a really good value and readily available. You should be able to find this in pretty much any good whiskey shop. Okay, so final thoughts here on Old Ezra, seven years old, barrel strength. Um, as far as the marketing goes on this, I think that they're coming in at a really good sweet spot. When you think about things like Stack Junior, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which are hovering around that 70 to even 80, sometimes higher than that range, this is a nice substitute. You are getting a really good quality barrel proof whiskey here. And while it doesn't necessarily have the incredible long finish and complexity of those, this is no slouch at all. You get a good amount of flavor here. There's a good amount happening. This is just a really good, straightforward, all the heavy bourbon notes with a little bit of extra cherry and fruit note to top it off. I have nothing but positive things to say here about old Ezra, seven years old. And with that, I'm gonna give this a 3.75 out of five, which means that I recommend you try this for sure or grab yourself a bottle at a good price, which shouldn't be hard to do. Okay, y'all, so with that, that is my review of Old Ezra, seven years old, barrel strength whiskey, 58.5%. If you have yet to, do hit subscribe. That will ensure you do not miss any of my reviews which come out every Friday. I also do a happy hour every Tuesday at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Would love to see you in the chat. And with that, I'll catch you next week here on Malt Muser Whiskey Reviews. Here's your Malt Musing. Cheers. <laughs>